Hi everyone, I'm Sarah May and this chapter is really about ideals and sometimes we put all of these uh, ideals on ourselves that God did not ask us to have or give ourselves and for me I really I had all these ideals that I would have lipstick every morning and pancakes and a dress and the 50s cliche was my idea of the kind of mom that I should be. I didn't have those things growing up. So for me, security was found in the idea of the 50s mom. You know, she's up every morning and she's cooking and she's singing and she's pancakes and she smells so good. And, uh, and that's what I wanted to be. And I realized that I wasn't taking into consideration who I was at all and how God made me. And I wasn't made to be that sort of a woman. And so I'm, I'm learning which ideals to hold on to. So for me, letting go of some of the ideals that God didn't ask me to carry and holding on to the ideals that are spending time with my kids, reading to my kids, being intentional with my kids. Those are the things I want to focus on and those are the ideals that I really, really want to persevere in and not give up in. And one of the things that I had to learn is that I was exactly the mom that my kids needed. My personality, my story, I get to put my own imprint. It doesn't have to be like everyone else. I don't have to copy everyone else because I feel like God created us and designed us to be those moms who would hold these little children in our hands and say, I have the opportunity to influence this child for eternity with my personality, my loves, my drives, my enthusiasm. And I don't have to be like anyone else. And the other thing I would say, and I kept saying this to Sarah May, is you know when you first started driving a car and you, were, you couldn't think of the steering wheel and the brake and everything all at the same time, but then after a period of time it became mm -hmm. more natural? And I think I look at back at my life and when you're this first mom with the first baby, you just don't ever think your life is gonna be normal again. But God has planned and created us to be moms who nurture, who breastfeed, who love, who are civilizers, and you grow in your capacity you will become more and more able to do what you always idealized. But I think enjoying it, saying, God, you are in this room with me, you designed me, you designed these children, show me how to do it and make my home a place that I enjoy, that they enjoy, and that can turn the world upside down.